Like make them oh, tighter. How's it feel? How's it feel? My girls are like wanting to come out to play today. I think that's good. That's good. Can you tighten mine? Yeah. <laughs> I got about as much as you. You need a bro. <laughs> I need a bro. A man's ear. I'm getting ready because I have Ashley's coming over later and you have to do field day, right? Yeah. Can we make you something? Would you like some fruit? No, I'm good, really. Did you have fun at Happy Eddie's event? Yeah, actually, I did. You did? Yeah. Okay, let's see everybody's joy. Can I see y'all's? Okay, hey, hold up. Oh. 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 I, you know, obviously got into a little tobacco with Karen. And uh, yeah, I kind of called her old dog babe. <laughs> she decided to say, ah, you can call me old dog, but you the only one that's a trick. What was she was referring to when she said trick? Who knows, but... Oh, gotcha, okay. Um, did you ever mention that Karen brought up screwing the rapper down? <laughs> Might have left that detail out. <laughs> she, clearly, she over there smoking something. Mm. Oh. And it's not Happy Eddie's <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> She's here, baby. Yeah, hi, hi babe. So... This is beautiful. Thank you, so babe. So spring. Hi, how are you? Oh, no, you look like spring. Oh, welcome. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Ashley. How are you? Good. Would you like a Corona? That is good looking out, We bro. need Thank some you. Coronas. I don't have lime, though. Where did you put my shirt? It's in there on the uh, picnic basket. Did you iron it? No, I did not. Sorry. He's volunteering at the kids' school for field day. <laughs> Gordon going to be over there doing the one-legged race. <laughs> so have a seat. Let's okay. um, talk about some things. Yes, I'll make myself right at home. You know, I used to live on the 15th floor. Did you? Michael and I lived in a penthouse for 10 years, 12 years. And you're in a great location. I'm enjoying this. But anyways, what's going on with you? I feel like we just haven't had a chance to like talk. Like, what's going on with the divorce? How are you feeling? Are you OK? Um. So let me back up a bit. OK, all right. Because. Gordon and I went to lunch. Do you think that she's actually getting the divorce? I, I never thought so from the beginning. Really? Why do you even tell me this? Why give up the sugar you daddy? Tell me this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good gig if you can get it. Speaking from an older uh -huh, man, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. He said we probably wouldn't end up divorced either, that we would come up with some type of an arrangement. And we would probably work out some kind of arrangement that's mutually beneficial. Bro, what would that look like, Gordon? Yeah, Hi. just so you know now, uh-huh. So clear it up for me. It's like, more so the security that okay. comes with being with him. When I was younger, my mom and I were evicted twice from our house, so I've sat on the side of the street with my mm -hmm. belongings multiple times. It is fear. When Giselle said it's operating in fear, like, yes, I am scared yeah. of what it could look like if I don't if I'm not able to meet the mortgage and, you know, just like. Because you don't want to be on the corner with your babies. My mom was a single parent, and there were a lot of times that even though we had help from my family, my mom just couldn't make ends meet. I was in the second grade, and my grandmother picked me up from school, and she took me to where our stuff was on the side of the road. Watching my mom on the side of the road with all of her stuff, think about my own kids and how I would feel if, for some reason, like, I was in that position, it breaks my heart. But do you think you're ever going to get a divorce? Yes, I will. You do? I do. I do you think just, I will. OK. I think you should. I do. I okay. do, too. I will. Probably by the end of the year. My goal is by the end of the year. My birthday is next week. So you know yeah. these these milestones? Yeah. So uh, girl, are you ready for Robin's trip? Uh-huh. I want to invite you all on a trip to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Question. Wendy is not here. She's included in the invite. I am not excluding anyone from this group. Okay. So she is included. You know, Austin was a bit of a tense time, right? And there are some lingering things that need to be resolved. I don't want anyone to feel the need to have forced conversations about, you know, their where they stand and their relationships. That's not what we're here for. We're here just to have a good time. Don't care about nobody healing. Don't care about us getting closer. You just want to have fun. I bet your ass do after them sign notes from the hotel. It's been an interesting year for me. So I am looking forward to being gone. Like, I might not go back. <laughs> the Dominican Republic is big enough for me and all my fabulosity and Robin's dry ass. So I'm excited about that. 
Thank you. That's um, very fun. And, you know, obviously celebrating your birthday. I feel like last year your birthday was such a debacle. So we're going to, like, do over this year. <laughs> it was it more so for you. You had a lot going on. I think she just has some tension. She needs some dick, more dick. Oh. All right, we'll keep your legs closed, to marry men, I'm bitch. No, no, no. Oh! Yeah, but it was your birthday. That's not even fair to make it. About, Girl, like, what? I get one every year. That's fine. <laughs>